This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Wondershare Recover It. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a product slide animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's very easy to create and anyone who is new to After Effects can simply create this animation using some very easy steps. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Now, before we start this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I have mentioned all the links in the description below. Now let's jump to the tutorial. All right, so here we are in After Effects and here I have a few images like a shoe. This is a PNG of a shoes or you can just simply cut out this shoes in Photoshop or in After Effects. And if you don't want to do that process, you can download the free project file from the link in the description below. And here I have a simple Nike logo. So let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080. All right, let's call this render as our main render comp 30 fps and let's make this 10 seconds long hit okay then i'm gonna create a new composition which is going to be our media placeholder or a shoe placeholder i'm gonna call this media let's set the height and width both to 1080 by 1080 hit okay and then i can drag and drop in my shoe image that i have right here simple and easy let's go back to our main render comp and hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background as of now i'm just leave it at an off-white color hit ok so in the first half of this tutorial we will design the complete scene and then in the second half we will animate it all right let's create one more new composition this is going to be the circles that you saw in the previous scene i'm gonna hit ok and then go right here and select the ellipse tool we can just double click on the ellipse to create a perfect circle and then i can bring down the size actually i don't want it to be this big so do something like that then select layer right click and go into layer style and add a bevel and emboss all right let's change the color to an off white color go into bevel and emboss i'm gonna set the shadow color to a darker tone like so and then just increase the size all the way up to 250 so we get this really nice um, circular bevel and i can play around with the color i guess so maybe i'll make this a bit something like a grayish tint and that looks good let's increase the highlight and the shadow color all the way up to 100 percent and let's make this a bit lighter i don't want it to make that heavy so yeah that is fine and probably I will bring down the size of the ellipse down so a little bit like maybe so all right that looks good and for the color I can play around a bit more so make this something like this so it looks really nice we get this reflection here or highlight here and the shadows in this section looking pretty good now for the color probably i will go with a little bit of bluish tint that would make things look a bit more better and same for the background i'm going to go into effects and preset and search for fill and let's add a fill effect on this let's add some nice bluish background whitish blue something like that hit okay that is looking great now let's drag and drop in the media composition that is the shoes that we have hit r and rotate this into the direction that we want so somewhere around there looks good and then drag and drop in the circle that we have so it's looking pretty cool i'm gonna select this hit s to bring down the scale property scale this down a little bit and put this below the shoes i'm gonna place this one right over here let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'm gonna place one right here we can hit s and scale this down make it really nice and small and I think the shadow is a bit too dark. So I can select this, hit U two times to reveal the properties. And I'll probably make it a bit lighter like so. Yeah, 
that looks a uh, much better let's duplicate this it control d go right here let's increase the scale all the way up to um 100 and place one right here hit control d again place one right over here let's put this two on the top of the media comp we can change the color of the media to something different so we can identify it properly let's hit s bring down the scale and place one right over here and then i'm going to go into fix and preset and search for a gaussian blur and let's increase the blur amount to something like 50. so this is uh, going to help us create some depth into our scene so i'm going to hit ctrl c to copy it select this circle hit ctrl v and probably increase this to 75. So that looks much nice let's hit ctrl v again and let's uh, let's leave it at 50 is good maybe Let's go with 30 and bring down the size a little bit like 25 or something so that is that and now let's bring up our text so i'm going to select the text tool and then i can type in with whatever text that i want so for the um, small text i will be typing b original you can of course type in any text and let's set the font to poppins i have mentioned link in in the description so you can download the same exact font let's set this to poppins and make it a nice black or dark gray color let's bring down the size and this is going to be our main text now let's go ahead and add a highlighting text so i'm typing new so this is a new shoes that probably you are launching and for the font i will be using babies babies bold let's bring up the size really high i think bold is a bit too much so let's go with uh, regular let's close this like like that and let's go with a nice white color put that below our main text and uh, finally uh, i will put this actually below everything let's put this just like that and uh, finally i will go into fix and preset and add an effect called transform let's double click to or drag and drop it simply and let's skew this by minus six so we get a really interesting look for our text and i can align this into the center if i want to but i think i'm gonna put this right here somewhere on there let's select this put this below and then just to add a little bit of interesting look to this first of all let's hide the transform as of now select the text select the rectangle tool and i'm going to create a mask like that so something like this and um, let's increase the size first of all from right here and then hit f to bring up the mask feather and increase this so this will help us achieve a really interesting look we can adjust the points like so just in order to get a very nice look and the focus on our p original text and as you can see it adds a bit more depth to the scene i'm going to select this at control d and let's add text sneakers and for this i will set this to probably something like semi bold bring down the size really low and pull this one right here and then i can add the nike logo as well hit s to bring down the scale pull that down and place this one so designing the complete scene is almost ready i can close everything and you can see if you are happy with the design so yeah i'm pretty happy with the overall look now one thing that i think is missing is the shadow of the shoes in order to make it look that it is a three-dimensional instead of making it look like right now it looks kind of flat right so in order to do that i can select the media composition right click go into layer style and add a drop shadow let's um bring down the um bring down the distance to zero and let's increase the size really high like so so let's go with something like um 300 something and let's pull the distance now slowly pull that down so you can see and then i can add a nice gray tint to this kind of a bluish gray to be honest i don't want it to be very intense just a subtle shadow now you can see it looks much better if i just show you before and after we have much more depth into the scene 
and into our shoes that is looking good and finally as a final touch to the design i can create a new adjustment layer called this cc and i'm going to go into fix and preset search for curves and let's switch to blue channel and increase this just a touch but as you can see this little touch really improved the overall look of the design and i'm pretty happy with this style and i personally like this so i can you know make the final adjustments let's put this right here and the logo i will just select the um, nike logo let's place this one right here so yeah now before we proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor wondershare recover it wondershare recover it is a tool that can be a lifesaver when you have lost or accidentally deleted your files photos videos emails and more it supports more than 1000 file formats and helps you recover them i have used it myself and it's 100 percent safe and reliable using this tool is also very easy you can recover data from any of your drives and even recycle bin or you can select a specific folder if you want to we also get an option for system crashed computer which will help you to recover data from number of different problems we also get a separate section for advanced video recovery which can recover your 4k and even 8k video footages then we get the corrupted video repair feature using which we can repair videos that may get damaged during the recovery so to know more about wondershare recover it check out the first link in the description below now our scene is ready first of all i'll hide everything and let's animate them one by one so let's start with the background i'm going to select the background go to one second and uh, 10 frames hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and pull this down like so so we have a very simple animation then i will um, skip the text for now let's select this composition turn them on hit p create a keyframe go back and now i'm going to pull them down one by one so first select this circle let's pull that right out select this one pull that one out select the media pull that out select this circle pull that out of the frame and finally this one so now we have something like this pretty nice you can also see we get a little bit of parallax here which is really cool but with the position i also want to animate the rotation of the shoes so i can select this hit r create a keyframe and let's bring that down and uh, let's rotate it like a little bit so now when it animates up it also rotates a bit maybe a bit more let's set this to zero actually let's try zero and as you can see we get this really nice rotation it's very subtle movement but these are the little details that matters when you are creating this kind of animations all right let's hit ctrl a hit u and close them up now we can animate the logo and the text here so it's pretty simple i'm going to go right here let's select both of these hit p create a keyframe go back and actually pull them out of the frame like so and then i'm going to go to one second let's select these two layers and pull them out like so so now they animate like this I can select the keyframes. You can hit F9 or right click, go into keyframe assistant, easy ease them, go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph, select this point and drag the handle to the left. So we have a much more smoother animation as you can see. Pretty cool. Now let's animate our text. So I'm going to select the text, turn that on, go to around two seconds. Let's go ahead and in the animate section i'm going to add a position and in the add section go into property and add an opacity so i'm going to bring down the position like so around let's go with something like 60 bring down the opacity to zero go into the range selector set the offset all the way up to 100 percent create a keyframe go back to maybe one second and set this to minus 100 go into advanced properties set the um, shape to ramp up and set the ease high to around 30 percent and ease low all the way up to 100 so now we have a really interesting animation for our text 
pretty cool. And finally, I will animate the second text that was in the background. So I'm going to add a simple opacity animation with the position for this. So I can select this, hit P to bring down the position, create a keyframe, hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe, hit U so we can see both the keyframes. Go somewhere around there, set the opacity to zero and pull that down a little bit. Now I can select these keyframes, uh, hit F9 or right click keyframe assistant, easy ease and then go into the graph and let's pull this handle to the left. So now we have something like this. Pretty cool. Maybe I, I should increase the duration. So it's nice and slow. All right, probably I will move them a bit ahead in time. Pretty nice. Now let's um, select the circles and the media hit U so we can see the keyframes here select all the keyframe hit F9 to easy ease them go into the graph and then I will just drag them to the left so now we have a much more interesting animation as you can see okay so I forgot the background but I think it's looking super cool we basically need to do the same animation to the background so I can select the keyframes Go into keyframe assistant, easy ease graph, and then drag them like so. So I think it's looking pretty damn cool. All I have to do is select everything and let's move them probably five frames forward in time so that the background animates first. And then we have the shoe animating with the circle. Okay, that is looking pretty damn cool. But we are not done yet. I want to add a secondary animation as well. So what I'm going to do is um, create a new null object really quick. Okay, call this um, scale or anything that you want. Okay, let's parent uh, the text to this. So I'm going to select the text, parent this to the scale. And let's go to around probably two seconds. Let's go right here, create a keyframe on the scale. Go to three seconds and scale this up by one one ten. All right, and then at the same time, I want the shoe to scale down. I'm hit S, create a keyframe, go right here, set this to ninety. So I can select these two keyframes and right click keyframe assistant. Oh, easy ease. I'm going to graph, but this time I'm gonna change the way it animates. I'm gonna bring them closer like so so now if i preview this boom we have this really cool secondary animation which i think looks pretty damn cool so now let's actually go ahead and preview everything and boom i think it's looking pretty nice i'm really in love with this final result that we have here so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you like this video and do let me know in the comment section below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below and if you're feeling generous you can also support us on patreon again all the links are in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out